welcome to today's orientation session on institutions innovation council 4.0 as the name indicates we are now in the fourth edition of institutions innovation council today we are going to talk about the achievements we did so far and when i say we that means our institutions our iis institutions and also we we'll talk about the new features has been added to this iic 4.0 portal and will make you familiar about these features so that you will use it efficiently and also it will help in making the iic network grow to the next level so let me share with you all the presentation and also i will talk about the different features and how we are going to use these features in our institutions innovation portal institutions innovation council you all are part of it and you are the member of iics total ranking of institutions on innovation achievement that you know and majority of, of these institutions they, they are part of area 2021 and uh, hackathon much familiar name among the tech, tech students especially it uh computer science background students and recently we had uh, completed this toy hackathon drug discovery hackathon we have the copy lab program to support uh, intellectual property ip patent filing and uh, patent generation yukti 2.0 for uh, technology transfer related activities also ministry of education uh, innovation cell and aict uh, we are conducting so many international hackathons since last 3 years 4 years so all these programs are now well integrated multiplier effect we are expecting from these institutions naming major programs like nisp national innovation startup policy iic and aria these three policy programs are quite well integrated and synchronized at national level if you will see all these programs it is designed in such way that one program complements another and another program supplements that so it's a kind of both complementing and supplementary factors has been taken into account like national innovation and startup policy gives a directive measures gives a kind of a broad framework for a uh, policy vision approach for the institutions with a long term planning what they want to do whereas this iic helps to convert that vision into reality by helping in implementation and through that implementation through these efforts the outputs you generate at the micro level also at the macro level that helps in feeding into atal ranking aria and getting good score and band in the aria ranking process that that demonstrate the efforts and achievements of institutions and in each and every junction in our interaction point they provide a, they develop a feedback loop for correction and improvisation of the program that means all these programs not only helping the institute and the country and our educational system to go move forward also it helps in improvising the system on a continuous basis taking the stakeholders institutions faculties and the students interest into account if i will talk about how many such institutions those are having nisp adoption process also having iic in 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 uh, in place and also participating in aria there are 2436 institutes have been adopted this and nisp 1247 is iis institutions are part of aria ranking process let's give a glimpse on the nisp in last one and a half year period 4000 faculty coordinators have been trained on how to design how to plan innovation and entrepreneurship policy at institute level because the objective of nisp is when each and every institute will think in a through a through a, through a vision oriented approach and they will 
consider the short term mid term and long term goals into account and they will enjoy engage and deploy the resources and through collaboration and through co creation approach they have to come up with a action plan document how to accelerate how to streamline and strengthen the innovation and entrepreneurship ecosystem in the campuses this is the what nisp says why preparing this kind of action documents by the institute we have created this uh, pool of more than 4000 faculty entrepreneurs faculties uh, nisp coordinators and 2500 plus educational institutions have already been adopted this policy and 700 plus institutions have developed the policy documents or they are they have already set up the committee of to to design and to formulate this kind of policies for their institute and 400 plus institutions have already formulated they are in the process of implementing these policies you can visit all these institutions in our nisp portal and you can learn you can refer these documents and it's a sincere request and also through uh, you know, continuous training and handholding process we are trying to help you all to design your your own innovation and startup policy for your institute those have not developed it please initiate it the registration and all this process is uh, open throughout the year make use of this resources and also refer the policy documents developed by other institutions and start acting on it comes to the atal ranking of institutions on innovation achievement those institutions are participating in this atal ranking uh, process for because it is started in 2019 we started with only 496 institutes then the number increased to 674 and last year it is just four times compared to the first year so total 1437 institutions were part of aria 2021 ranking process and recently in december we announced the result you can go through the our aria web page to see the results first time we have introduced a framework of considering non technical institutions and to rank them and also classified and categorized the institutions on different types like centrally funded institutions are part put into one category then universities state universities government university into one category self finance university other other category stand alone and uh, colleges and institutions into different different categories you can visit our aria web page for more detail at present the registration for aria 2022 is going on soon we are going to organize orientation session for ia sorry uh, aria 2022 but before that i will request all ias institutions to go and register in aria 2022 only the registered institutions will be allowed to attend that orientation session and that uh, we are going to cover the all each and every part of the framework then how and also we will give the tips how institutions will able to collect the data and uh, provide the data through that portal for evaluation and this auto ranking of institutions on innovation achievement it captures and analyze the data pertaining to program uh, activities teaching and learning innovations startups technology transfer and budget and expense related to innovation entrepreneurship and startup so this aria itself is very unique in terms of ranking because there is no such ranking exist anywhere in the world and especially in the emerging country context this aria is more more relevant because aria provides a directional support and also it gives a inclusive understanding on ecosystem so that institute will able to understand different components they will measure their efforts using the data and also they will compare with other ecosystem players especially other institutions at the regional level at the central level also with similar nature of the institutions like technical institute can compare with other technical institutes non technical institute will able to compare with other non technical institutes departments now let's move to program which is 
very very relevant and also belongs to us we all are part of this program other programs also were part of it but this program we actually were directly concerned to us so without taking much time because i hope most of you know about iic this institutions innovation council it was started in 2018 and currently we are running the fourth edition we have more than 2777 iics or uh, councils established in higher education institutions more than 421 universities are part of it and 182 stand alone colleges in last one year time period more than 28000 activities were carried out by all these iic institutions all together out of this 2777 iic institutions more than 600 institutions have established incubation unit either with the government support or with the industry support or with their own support own resources it's really really a great uh, uh, progress or we can say we can, we can we can say that this progress is actually uh, visible and impressive but actually before the incubation there is need to develop a pre incubation ecosystem or the pre incubation support system there also our ic institutions has played major role and majority of all these institutions have pre incubation support system either in the form of edc entrepreneurship development cell or iedc innovation and entrepreneurship development cell or new gen iedc they have established innovation cells startup cell nidhi center tinkering labs technology transfer units so these are kind of pre incubation support system already exist in many of all these iic institutions and i i think you all are ever about this uh, iic 3.0 annual performance that we announced in december uh, uh, and more than 339 institutions they have scored four star out of five and 423 institutions have scored three and 3.5 star out of five stars there 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 are many newly registered iic institutions and now quite having the enthusiasm to compete with other institutions and to get a good score and star in iic 4.0 in addition to encouraging the institutions through this scoring and star system and incentives to the of uh, Uh, institutions and conducting so many training programs and other support systems ministry of education innovation cell also provide funding supports and handholding supports to student innovations and faculty innovations let's give a glam, glimpse on the kind of ideas innovations and startups are coming from all these iic institutions in 2018 and 19 more than 10 lakhs ideas have been developed and these ideas then converted into innovations and prototypes it is around 24000 and around 1867 startups ventures and small and medium enterprises has been developed from these academic institutions and this number has grown and the trend become uh, moved towards uh, up in this 1920 and 2021 and in this 2020 2021 we found more than 46000 innovations and number of startups and ventures grown to 3800 it indicates our academic institutions are now have developed their capacity and also they are thriving to build that system and they are encouraging the young minds to pursue their innovation and startup as an alternative career choice so this is a very positive sign and also momentum is up and when the number of iis institutions will now focus more on quality and they will build up the capacity of the faculties or faculty members to support these student innovators and student entrepreneurs then definitely this trend will further multiply in coming years 
and we can see that this 3000 will increase to 10000 and by the time iic counts will also increase to 10000 to 20000 10000 to 12000 numbers and the whole ecosystem that we will imbibe during that time is beyond our imagine during that time you you may not need our support maybe the few institution majority of the institution they will emerge as a leader and they will take the lead, lead role in driving the ecosystem along with the other IIC institutions and we are expecting that should be happen in next coming four to five years and definitely it is definitely going to happen because the kind of expert base the kind of uh, uh, innovation ambassador uh, uh, trainers we have and kind of faculty members and the student members we have those have entrepreneurship and innovation mindset you can see that the potential of our institutions the scope for further intervention and the kind of opportunity we are bringing and our institutions are contributing is really going to be path breaking if we all will able to make use this opportunity through a systematic and planned approach now let me cover different uh, certain questions which is very common and frequently asked but sometimes these questions are if not properly addressed it leads to misconception so majority of or many many of these institutions those of iac they are thinking that this iac is a center iac is a unit it need financial burden or institute has to take financial burden to start an iic this is a misconception as it names institutions innovation council it is not a cell it is not a unit but iic is a council and council is a body which is a representation of departments units incubation unit pre incubation unit innovation center that is exist in the campus so there is no financial burden head of the institute and the iic is a face of innovation of institute and it is a council just you have to pull the right persons and representatives from different departments and centers which are engaged in innovation and entrepreneurship activities in your campuses and this iic makes sure that there is no such isolation exist in your institute every department cell and the unit should be synchronized their resources has to be mobilized and all the students irrespective of their discipline in the sector they should get engaged in innovation and entrepreneurship this is what iic now the second common question frequently asked question general comes to every, everybody's mind or the especially for the new institutions who can register for iic any educational institution with iic code they can register as an iic and it is free of cost you have to just type iic.mic.gov.in and you have to register then the next common question is that who should initiate the registration ideally and preferably head of the institute vice chancellor or register or the um, uh, director or the principal of that institute not the department head of the institute has to register has to initiate the registration and it will hardly take 10 to 15 minutes once it is approved at our level once your request will come then we will approve it then the person we call it the president of the iac is a nominee of the head of the institute or the on behalf of the institute he has to lead that institutions innovation council in your institute so i have already have covered question four and question five so it's a president's role to identify the convener to identify the coordinators to identify the other members and it is his responsibility to ask everybody to come for meeting conduct the quarterly activities conduct the planning and also bring the external support system everything and they have to build the capacity of the team to drive the system to drive the council 
next another another uh, one of the frequently asked question is that use of logo can an ic institute will use the mic and aict logo the answer is no an ic institute is not permitted to use, permitted to use the aict and mic logo so far that event or that program is not financially supported by the mic or aict a question is kind q1 and q2 quarter 1 and q2 it's it merged or what the answer is q1 and q2 for ic 4.0 is already merged and it has been informed very long back but still many institutions are asking this common questions so just take note that q1 and q2 has been merged and the q2 ends in february 2022 and you have to submit all the reports by end of february 2022 then only you will start evaluating and assign the institutions with score and star for q1 q2 it by march or april then again you have to submit for q3 and q4 and finally the annual performance result will be announced in the month of august or september so another frequently asked question is does iic and mic provide financial support for iic establishment no for establishment of iic there is no uh, no fee is required it is completely free also we never give money to the institutions also i uh, mic and aict they conduct so many programs for our iic institutions for our faculty members there we invite all these iic members to participate and also we provide them handhold supports and also we float certain programs like impact lecture program mentor mentee program there we and national innovation contest there we provide supports to the then there we provide financial support to the institutions but not for the iic institute not for the establishment of iic but for executing that program also we heard a common question from our institutions when this nic national innovation contest 2022 is going to be announced the plus point the advantage of this system is that the repository belongs to the institute but it is part of the iic system and institute can use this repository for other purposes like to nominate for other competitions organized by different organizations so this this is these are the common questions and the final common questions is what are the new in this iic 4.0 portal let's discuss this in our next slide the new things introduced in this iic 4.0 is weightages and the scoring system of the activities in comparison to the iic 3.0 iic 4.0 has the four different kind of activities the iic calendar driven activities almost you all know it it carries 50% weightages the self driven activities it carries 30% weightages and self driven activities are those activities institute organize these innovation and entrepreneurship activities without guidance or without any support from ministry of education or the iic and 10% weightages is for the mic driven activity mic driven activities are those activities mic iic and aict they ask our ic institutions to carry out that activities and mostly it is non planned activities in, at the day of calendar in the beginning of the calendar so it comes as we progress on our calendar like recently we did uh, we announced uh, this um, we conducted this program called atmanirbhar celebrating the innovation week as part of azadi ka amrit mahotsav so that was not part of iic calendar activity but it is a mic driven activity and the orientation session you all are part of it is also a mic driven activity why what is the necessity of this kind of mic driven activities to be uh, included and also provided the support uh, which is to this because mic driven activities are very important activities it carries 
or actually on participation of all in these activities actually it has a very potential to uh, provide you more information and the knowledge but it was not planned in before that's why uh, through these mic driven activities we are trying to uh, pass these informations to our institutions and our faculties and the students and for in this in this edition to iic 4.0 a celebration day activity is included which carries 10% weightages we observe that there are so many days are there in so important days are there in our calendar which should be celebrated which should be encouraged and institute should come forward to organize this uh, activities uh, organize these days in their campuses we have identified certain certain days like india's india startup day um, uh, next your national innovation day national education day national startup day kind of things every institute has to organize at least two to three uh, such celebration day during any particular quarter for more detail you can visit our these two links that uh, the, for the calendar activities and for the scoring for the weightages and also detailed guideline for the iic you can uh, visit our iic web page the edit, the new feature of iic 4.0 is in this year we decided to classify our institutions earlier there were no much classification every iics were considered as a one like one iic means it is irrespective of size and nature of the institution we we had just treated it as one iic but this year we are going to introduce and we classify the iic institutions on two different levels the first level of classification is universities especially deemed universities both government and private will be treated as a one the universities those are affiliating bodies because they have many such institutions are part of their system so they will be put into another category then colleges and institutions those are affiliated to these universities they will be considered as a separate and stand alone institutions will be considered as a separate another level of classification is technical institutions and non technical institutions should be treated classified and uh, 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 represented separately and already this has been included as part of iic 4.0 registration so while register while confirming the registration and participation for iic 4.0 if you have answered this question that does your university gives affiliation to the colleges and institute if you will answer yes then automatically your institute will be transferred and fall into this category of university and affiliating there are other new features are part of this iic 4.0 portal are like now iic institute through their portal they can track they can check the progress of innovations received funding assistance from mic and aict the new feature is integration of innovation ambassador portal with iic institute portal so those are the innovation ambassadors they have given access to the innovation ambassador portal now what they are doing what kind of activities actually they are doing or they have done all kind of report system now iic institute their iic institute can see it the new feature in the iic 4.0 portal is institute can check their eligibility and they can participate through this portal in various schemes and the programs meant for iic institutions now comes to the next feature of checking the eligibility and participate in various schemes and programs as i said the innovations or if you you are going to nominate any innovations or startup or poc for national innovation contest your iic institute is going uh, will uh, will able to see the progress of all these applications carried at the central level and also if any uh, innovation team will re re will receive any financial assistance that's also your institute can able to uh, track that progress of that innovation and the startup this is it is already developed 
Next is managing the pre-incubation and the incubation support. So if your institute has pre-incubation facility and incubation facility or any something like that, you can provide the you can provide the updated information in every two months time or in every quarter so that this information will be available in the in, in our IAC web page and other institutions and students will access to this information they will approach to your incubation unit and the pre-incubation unit for various uh, 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 support like conducting the programs or providing financial support something like that they can approach your incubation unit similarly there are many programs we are offering like um, a mentor mentee program impact lecture program innovation ambassador trainee program you can manage you can participate by through by using these links for mentor and mentee already we have developed the prescribed activities the link has been given and uh, training already been provided to the uh, 50 institutions those are part of the first phase funding support and through this link uh, through this mentor mentee um, tab they can they can check they can they can see which are the mentee institutions assigned to them and what kind of activities they have to organize how they will plan these activities and uh, all the report system everything will be managed through this mentor mentee uh, tab and uh, there is there will be no different portal system for mentor mentee program and all these progress also will be counted for towards the iic annual performance uh, 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 evaluation the analysis of that institute for the auto tinkering school also already we have uh, integrated the database of the whole 6000 auto tinkering schools now this will be given as an mic driven activity to the our institutions for next to one month time they have to first see the list of auto tinkering labs exist in their district and they have to approach them they have to call they have to they have to they have to coordinate with them and they have to explain them how they are going to help them and how iic institutions will help guide them in uh, making that auto tinkering lab kind of a epicenter of uh, innovation and entrepreneurship for school kids and they have to onboard these auto tinkering labs for uh, uh, conducting the activities for the e-learning repository already i mentioned e-learning repository uh, there will be a repository of e-learnings where iic institutions and mic conducted uh, expert session has to be put together and this consolidated and huge repository of such e-learning materials resources has to be utilized by the IC institutions for conducting the training sessions, lecture sessions, and also they will use as teaching material in their classroom sessions. Similarly, the repository of ideas, innovation startup also will be uh, uh, is, is already developed, and you have to make use of this mechanism. And you have to in next two months of time. Uh, uh, this is also again going to be a MIC driven activity. All these two things is going to be MIC driven activity, and uh, once you will complete. Then this uh, weightage is uh, allocated to a, towards this MIC driven activity will be counted. Already I have explained about the IIC sub networks, especially for the universities. Those are affiliating. Uh, those, those are providing affiliation support. These uh, university affiliating bodies, they will first first they have to once they will uh, 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 how to how to make use of this system so first they have to uh, search and add the affiliated institutions already having iic so from the pre-populated list they have to identify first step they have to identify that which are the institution those are affiliating those are affiliated with their university and already have the iic in their campuses so you will able to know from here from our uh, portal itself so if your institute if your university belongs to andhra pradesh then andhra university for per se andhra university then andhra university is a affiliating affiliating university so andhra university able to see that which are the institutes and colleges comes from andhra pradesh and they will able to see the list of all these institutions and they have to identify which are these are which are the institutions those are affiliate to the andhra university so that they have to first migrate these things under this tab and the second is called 
they have to send they have to refer and they have to add the institution that means they have to provide the details of that institutions those are not part of iic but they are those are the affiliating institutions or affiliated institutions so they have to provide once they will uh, provide the detail and they have to click then the invitation link will goes to that particular institute and that once that particular institute will register for iic and that institute will also come into the bucket of a uh, list of affiliated institute with iic then once it is done then that particular university they can manage they can track the progress of all these iic institutions their activities their reports and their uh, uh, performance they can also give certain activities to the to these iic institutions and for that also you can you can uh, create your uh, you can you can reward them you can uh, provide them the incentives you can announce new programs for them and all these things will be displayed in in the form of the dashboard so these are the newness we have included and we believe through this majority of the our uh, university of affiliating nature and affiliated institutions will get good mileage and also advantage from this program the fourth one is called referring the new institute and the earn the credit that will be counted for fifth star calculation so this is applicable for each and every iis institute irrespective that you are either part of an university or you are a stand alone or you are technical or non technical so if you know any institute or any university those are located in and around your vicinity but they are not part of iis definitely you can send them an invitation by using the system and once they will join then automatically the credit will uh, transfer to your account and because we have everything in place so that we will know that this university joined through you it may be happen that and uh, all iic president conveners and coordinators members they can join this so with this i will thank you again for your time and efforts and let's participate in the question and answer session so thank you thank you all